62 tonight from 10 to midnight. And then our dear friends like Barry Cullen are going to be back on St. Patrick's Day in 2020. Yep. So we want you to get out that list like Santa Claus and check it twice because we got something for everybody. And I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but once again, customer top rated <laughs> every single sweater in the show is on sale it's on easy pay and it's customer top rated and it's made in ireland i know you can buy uh you know cable or an irish aaron style sweater from anybody but well, you want to buy aaron it style. from barry when it really is from ireland and this is our top rated Price going up at the end of the day. Sale price tomorrow, by the way, end of day tomorrow. Sale price on the final order. Our buyer confirmed that she will not be able to reorder this again. So we have what we have, and then we want you to get it before it's retired. So this is leaf green, 300 left. I'm in the ecru, 250 remaining. We have it in our pretty blue, 250 as well, and then soft gray. Only four dozen left. So let's look. Let's look at the blue sure. because I think our beautiful Jessica is in the green. Of course. And this is a long coat, and yet I'm only five one, and it's not too long. It's hitting me right at the knee. You want to um, obviously dry clean these, but I probably only do that maybe once every four or five it's, years. It's, it's, one of the, that. it's one of the beautiful things about the merino wool because there's a certain amount of this natural oil lanolin in the wool that makes them kind of not naturally not adhere stains very well. So really, the most you I really have to do with this is is maybe if you're in a room that maybe had like an open fire possibly right um you might want to air it out for half an hour right. that's really about it apart from that don't hang them up like we're showing here right. because um they can this the weight of the wool can distend it a little bit we really just fold it up in a drawer and uh, once uh, you'll be able to pass it down to the next generation well it's funny because my sister <coughs> she went on her honeymoon and i guess they've been married what 35 36 years and bought my mother a sweater which from Ireland, which family member I think my niece has now. She's still wearing it. And again, I'm five, one and three quarters. I have the extra small on. The, the sizing is generous. You have free exchanges. But what I love about this is the little reverse zip. So if you're getting in and out of the car, you can unzip this. It can also give yourself a little bit more of that hourglass shape. But then if it's really cold and you want to zip it all the way down, you can and got to love the pockets. But it's that butterfly stitch on the bottom and also on the cuff that's very intricate, sets this apart. It's the only one of its kind we've ever done at QVC and it's on sale. You're saving $24 and change, actually even a little more than that. But this cannot come back in stock and let's focus here because sure. this is what sets this beautiful sweater apart. <clears throat> so the inspiration behind uh, this butterfly stitch, really, which you can see, which you can see if you can see it close up here, and um, you can see like the the two wings of the butterfly. Um, this was inspired by. There's, a, there's always been a great tradition in Ireland of um, of pontel lace of, of Irish lace, and basically making these making these beautiful little images and like for in in linen usually. So we tried to recreate something like that, but in merino wool. Right. And we thought, what better, especially with these beautiful kind of spring colours, to have something like the like the uh, the image of a butterfly. Which, uh, which in the Irish for butterfly is a phalacon, which is one, it's one of those, it's one of those things, that's, it's almost a beautiful sounding word in every language. Yes, it is. And uh, really that was the inspiration behind this. And also, when you, when you put a little bit of lacing around the edge of a garment, it kind of, it, it really feminizes something. It makes it very kind of, it, it gives it a kind of a, a, a cute feminine finish. And it also lightens up the, the hem a little bit, so that you'll always have a little bit, a little bit more freedom and movement. Right. So you don't have to worry about something being clingy. So I'm going over to my beautiful Irish lass who just got back from Ireland with her beautiful baby. Did she love it? She did everybody love her? Everyone was uh, crazy. They yeah. She's a gorgeous girl. <laughs> gorgeous girl, <laughs> I love it. Jess, you are 5'8", five right? 5'9". Five nine. Five nine, and I'm 5'1". So look at how it's not too long on me. It's not too short on Jess. It is a beautiful, like really a coat in certain parts of the country. This is all you'll need, but we're not getting it back in stock. So Jessica is in that gorgeous leaf green. Notice how we have different palettes for every sweater. I'm wearing the natural. All of these are limited. There's that soft I'm an ecru, right? 200 left. Then we have the blue, 200, and then we have the soft gray, final two dozen. But Barry's going to be back with one that I'm worried about, my favorite sweater in the whole wide world. Here <laughs> she is. It's what I'm switching back into. This is the Ash.